imagine if i can cure your heart disease by taking skin cells from you and then making a new heart out of it that would be great isn't it hello i'm kaivalya and what i do is i can take skin cells or blood cells from your body and then convert them into something called stem cells stem cells are cells that have the ability to become any cell type of your body like kidney cells liver cells heart cells and so on and this process of converting mature cells in your body like skin cells or blood cells into stem cells is called reprogramming and why do we even need to do this we do this because stem cells that we make from a patient can be converted into different healthier cell types that can basically put back into the patient to cure their disease but the problem with this process of reprogramming is that it is very inefficient in the sense that if i start off with like about 100 skin cells i just get five stem cells and then it becomes important for me to identify these stem cells out of these pool of different cells so that i can actually use them to cure patient diseases and the problem with current methods that we used to ident- that are used to identify these stem cells are that they're destructive in the sense that i need to kill the cell to identify if it's a stem cell or not but if i kill it what's the point right i can't really use it for anything so what our lab started asking was is there a way to just identify stem cells without <coughs> killing them so we started staring at these stem cells and we started staring at these skin cells that we derived them from and then we were like hmm what's different and then we were like oh hey the nucleus in both these cells looks different nucleus is a component of the cell which is essentially a brain of the cell kind of telling the cell what it should be doing so we went ahead and took pictures of skin cells that were undergoing reprogramming to stem cells and then we measured various features of this nucleus like area perimeter what's the shape what's the internuclear distance and so on and guess what we saw we saw as you can see from my slide that stem cells had smaller and circular nucleus that were close together while skin cells had larger and elongated nucleus that were far apart so just based on these features of the nucleus we could basically tell if a given cell was a stem cell or not and the bonus was that we could also tell which stage of reprogramming these cells were in so overall what we did was we developed a method to identify stem cells just by looking at them without killing them so that i can actually hopefully use them for curing patient diseases thank you Thank <laughs> you.